let's talk about Marty Bacoli. How dangerous is this guy? How blessed is he? How lucky is he? Um, the win over Jerry Anderson has made him one of the favorite. They say Americans are saying that he reminds them of George Foreman. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. The guy, you know, the guy has very his footwork is not technical, if you ask me. You know, his even his the way he throws his punches is strange. But at the end of the day, he gets the job done. But he got defeated by Michael Hunter too. We're not gonna forget that he got defeated by a smaller guy. He even almost quit in that fight. If you go back and watch that fight. So I wouldn't go as far as ranking him as high as George Foreman yet, but he definitely has some shades, some similarities with the awkward way he throws his punches. And but this guy is heavy-handed, man. His yeah, his yeah, punches he's are right. effective, man. So <laughs> and he has, and he has fast, deceptively fast hands too. So don't don't play with Martin Bacoli. So Martin Bacoli <laughs> has said in the past that he knocked out uh Daniel Dubois twice in sparring of course it's not nice to talk about sparring I would never advise anyone any fighter to brag about sparring because sparring is very different just like how Egovich beat up 17 year old Dubois in sparring and then you know got stopped in a refight however one thing about Mante Bacoli is that I think it's special because did you know that Mante Bacoli sparred Fury Jeremy Miller Daniel Dubois the same day you know that you don't know that i don't think you know right who's, whose camp was it i didn't know that but whose camp maybe tyson fury's camp brought in the different types of uh they all sound about the same body build so I'll probably say Bro, like maybe Tyson. Because, because Martin McCauley just said it in an interview uh, with uh, Sean Potter that he, uh, that um, Sugar Ray was there when that happened. He said he was there. He said he wondered why they took the fight with him. Why they advised Anderson to take that fight or advised Anderson to, to fight him. But Because he said if Anderson had bossed him, Anderson would have probably won or maybe have a chance. As soon as Anderson started wanting to go to the way, be like, oh, thank God. Oh, you want to fight me? Now let's go. So if this guy, fought, like this is, why, this is why even Jared Miller has a lot of respect for Monty Bacoli, right? Because you can tell the way he talks about him. So this guy is no joke. But the rumors of Monty Bacoli knocking out Andrew Joshua inspiring never happened because his trainer, Ben Nelson, said they never Joshua was never knocked out by Matthew Bacoli in Spire. It was competitive, you know. It was a war, but there was no knockout of Joshua in Spire. So all the all that rumor was a lie. And there was no knockout of Fury in Spire either. But he did beat up uh Egovich. No, not Egovich. Uh Dana Dubois. They stopped him twice, inspiring, made him uh blood in his nose. And he also stopped Ruz, um Usyk as well. To the body, he stopped Usyk in spirals. Do you think that guy can really beat Usyk in a refight, bro? Like, in a... Martin McCauley, do you think he has a chance? You know what? <laughs> what what uh do what uh Philip uh, Martin McCauley is saying is not far fetched. Let, let me let me put it into a a good picture so people can understand, right? Martin book uh, uh Usyk has been hit to the body numerous times correct and he's gone down okay it, it would not I, I wouldn't put it past uh martin bokovic was to able to land a good shot in, in in sparring against Usyk that did probably put him down maybe towards maybe it wasn't like a crazy spar or nothing like that that did put Usyk down towards like the end of the sparring and then they just said let's call it a day and that's it because hey man taking a body shot to the to the to, to the at to, to the side or to the liver is gonna hurt right but you know martin bocoli might have chucked that up as victory and i could see Usyk beating the hell out of martin bocoli but he hit Usyk once to the body and Usyk probably went down and I, that's uh, that's the only way i can i can i can honestly think of right bro now. that was not you the know? case according to according to uh, team bacoli he literally bullied Usyk his parrot i used I, 
I underestimate who's, uh, I, under, I underestimate Matthew Mac Mac McCauley, but he's very loud, man, bro. It's, I don't. He could talk all that mess, man, but I don't believe it at the end of the day. What Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua couldn't do, what makes you think he's so special? Do that. That's what I'm saying. There's got to be these guys never tell the truth in sparring. They never tell the truth. Matthew McCauley has been in the has been just behind out of all the head current heavyweights that he needs to hype himself up. He needs to hype the fans around him. He just beat a current Jared Anderson. Of course, he wants to hype himself up and get all this hype saying he beat everybody up in sport until we see it, until he gets this big money fight against one of the top contenders, right? And now everybody wants to spot, wants to see him. For me personally, I per I personally don't see the hype around him because we already knew what Jared Anderson was bringing to the ring. He was bringing no 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 experience at all whatsoever. We already knew what was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Any smart any smart boxer, any good and and. And, and, and athletic boxing person that that sees that 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 studies the game board automatically know like this guy is immature and he's not ready for it. Of course that was gonna happen. A uh, 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 Martin Bacoli who's sparred numerous heavyweights, he's he's a veteran in the game. You know, of but, course that but, was gonna but, happen. But, but you do know that Martin Bacoli is more of a body puncher than Joshua and Fury. <sighs> that I didn't know of. I didn't know of that. I just Please. look. He just looked like he's yeah. Of course he looks like a brawler. Because, hey, let, I mean, let's see what he does again. I don't want to see him against... Listen, he, they're claiming he, he wants to fight against Martin... Uh, but that fight shouldn't even shouldn't even happen. Because Michael Hunter has not even looked good in a very, very, very long no, time. No, but he, he wants to avenge that loss. But he's saying, listen, Michael Hunter is playing him around. Michael Hunter said, oh, he wants to fight him and stuff like that. And then uh, in camera, he, wants to, he says, I will fight him. But behind closer, say I'm not ready yet. And also, I think this is why I like Turkey Lashik's um, arrival to the sport of boxing. Because if not for him, I think Matt Mat listen, Matt Bacoli did what he did. We know what happened with the with the stuff um, that he posted online on Twitter. We didn't forget that. But I think he did it as an awareness and a part of our awareness. But in the West, it's different. I'm not going to blame him too much on that. But what I would say is that he was, he was, he, he was, if not for Alachik or Spencer, I think Spencer Brown or something that introduced him to Alachik, he would have been buried by these promoters because Eddie Hearn caught ties with him. Uh, I think after the, I think his last fight with Eddie Hearn was with Sergey Kuzmin. Sergey Kuzmin? I think so. Yeah, like, he's like, it's really crazy, bro. It's really, really crazy. So we see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, he wants to fight. Janjale is saying that he will knock Matt Bacoli out in five rounds. Uh, so he's saying that, but we'll see what happens. Um, Matt Bacoli has a bright future. Not a long, not not a lot of time left. But everyone's don't really age that quick if they like stay in shape, fight well, you know, fight shape. We'll see.